it seems like the cancellation of every anime YouTuber is starting now. I'm sure everyone's heard about the major news that happened this past week. Mr. Beast's friend Chris Tyson got exposed for very messed up Discord messages with someone that was very young, and for talking with someone that was known for creating very messed up art. Now you'd think it would just impact the transgender community, and that'll be it. But nope, the anime community got dragged into this because Chris Tyson was an anime fan, and was a big fan of lollies. This is a perfect example of one person ruining the reputation of the community. Which is disappointment because one disturbing person does not represent the community. It's been pretty obvious, many people are disgusted by anime fans. And now with this whole situation, people feel like now they can go after every big anime YouTuber and talk about how disgusting they are. The cancellation of every anime YouTuber has begun. I was shocked when I went onto the YouTube drama subreddit and saw the anime man's name being mentioned on there. It was a post with many upvotes and comments, supporting the cancellation of the anime man because of his past messages on Twitter that showed that he was fine with lolly content and probably was a fan of it. This was not just a post with barely any upvotes or comments. There were many people that wanted him canceled, and these people want every anime YouTuber canceled. Essentially, the thought process is, if you're fine with lolly content, then you're a disgusting horrible person and must be canceled. If you watch something like Moshoko Tensei or No Game No Life and wasn't disgusted by it, then you're a disgusting person. This is your mindset. To them, if you're fine with lolly content, then you must be canceled and be called disgusting. This brings up the oldest debate. Is lolly content fine? For me, I don't see the appeal in it. I'd rather see a girl with a nice body and big breasts over a lolly any day. But lolly content is still just fiction. It's not real. It would be a bad idea to say all lolly content is wrong because that is opening Pandora's box. Do you really think people would be satisfied if lolly content stopped? Not at all. Next, they'll go after series like High School DxD because although the girls in that series aren't lollies, they still look too young. People will be outraged by any messed up scene involving female characters, so you can't have any dark anime series anymore. Any odd thing with brother sister or teacher student will get people angry. If you get rid of everything that could be seen as disturbing or messed up, you'll be left with almost nothing left. People just dislike anime in general. Getting rid of the lollies won't solve much. The outrage is starting on Reddit and will probably spread Twitter soon. Will this really have a major impact on anime YouTubers? Probably not. I mean, everyone knows cancellations are dumb. You'll only be cancelled if you let yourself be cancelled. But it's kind of sad. Now it's a popular opinion to look at anime YouTubers and discuss. Not just them, but anime fans as well. I can only see disgust against the anime community growing. 